Come one, come all, to the mod tutorial ball. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. Today we will be installing uh, some select mods for uh, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. We'll be starting a new series of tutorials for this game and a new uh, series of uh, Let's Plays for it as well. Okay then, well the mod we're going to be installing today is Sins of the Galactic Empire, as you can see here. This is a total conversion mod for Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. And uh, it's definitely the most complete one out there. There are a couple of the Star Wars mods uh, currently for this game. There are two others. And they have their merits as well, but this is the most complete. It's got the most factions, the most maps, and uh, the most completed uh, textures and icons. So we're going to be installing that today. There are three components we're going to be downloading today. We're going to be downloading the mod main. Download it here the uh, hotfix for the mod, and the add-ons pack for the mod. Link in the description for all three files there. Now, once you've downloaded those three, they should appear in your downloads folder on your hard drive. Now, as you can see, they are RAR files. You will need 7-zip or WinRAR in order to uh, unzip these files. Link in the description for that software as well. It's completely free and safe to download. So, uh, yeah, go do that now if you haven't already. Now, if you aren't familiar with modding Sins of a Solar Empire, you are going to need to do something before you install any mods first. We're going to need to launch the game and uh, activate the mod path through the uh, in mod manager in the game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so to activate the mod path, you're going to want to go into the options menu and the mod sub menu here, and then click show mod path. There it will show you where it's placed the file to activate your mods within your documents. Now, you may be asking why not use the uh, in-game mod manager to install the mods? Well, the answer to that, ladies and gentlemen, is it is shit. It is absolutely terrible at handling large files. Uh, only in some instances will it actually be any use. So just ignore that for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and unpack this one first. I like to extract it directly into my documents because it allows me to see everything before I place it in the correct files, just so I can avoid un uh, any unnecessary mistakes. Now the reason I'm doing this mod first is, uh, unlike most of the mods for Sins, it comes with the large address aware executable, as you can see here. So now that the mod's unpacked itself, you can see here that it's come up with a load of text files that will help you better understand the mod. Enable mods uh, .txt file, which we'll cover later. It just means that you won't need to create one or edit one yourself in order to make the mod work. And installation instructions in case you can't be asked to follow this video anymore. So let's cover the large address aware.exe. So let's run that. It will come up with this little menu here. We'll first need to find the Sins of a Solar Empire executable in the first place. So local disk, program files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, go ahead and find Sins of a Solar Empire. And then you're going to want to go down to the Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion.exe and click that. Now what this will do is it will enable the game to use more of your computer's RAM. Now typically the game will run two, maybe three uh, gigs of RAM maximum. But this will now enable the game to use all of it. So, submit those changes. The update has been performed successfully and you won't ever need to do that again for your game. This uh, large address aware.exe also works for other games that support mods, so it's a handy little program to keep around. Now there are three files here, the enable mods, the squad size reduction and the actual mod itself that we're going to cut and take directly into the, uh, the mod file. So, we're going to our documents, going to games, ironclad games, they're the makers of the game, Sins of the Solar Empire, and you want to go to Mods Rebellion V2.8 uh, V1.82. Just ignore the other one, it's uh, outdated. And they already have an enabled mods.txt file in here, but it's not activated. Uh, we'll paste it all in here, replace, and it will replace the enable mods.txt. Now when it means uh, enable mod count 1, it means it'll activate the mod and the address of the mod that it's going to activate. 
Okay, so now before we activate the mod, we're going to install the hotfix. We're going to extract the files here just like before. It will re ask to replace some files, just uh, yes to all of those. And it will come up with the same mod files here. We're going to uh, cut those again. And uh, copy them and move them and replace over the originals. Just do this for all conflicts. And the patch and hotfix has been installed for both of these files. Lastly, we're going to open up the add-ons pack, extract it here like before. Now it's come up with a lot more files. We're going to go ahead and cut all of these into our mods folder, just like that. Now you don't need to run all of these at once. In fact, I recommend you don't because some of them conflict with each other. And are they, none of these are activated at the moment, only the main one, as you can see here in the enable mods text file. So to activate these, what we're going to have to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy this here. It's just going to make it a little bit easier, save some time. Paste it below there. We'll do it a few times for the, uh, the mods we want to activate. Now, another way to save on... Uh, time, I like to copy the name of the folder, instead of having to type it out manually, and place it in the quotation marks. Uh, we'll do this for the mods we actually want to activate. Uh, I quite like reduced weapon ranges, it uh, makes it more Star Wars-y, all the broadsides and shit. And you'll have to do this for every one of these files you want to uh, activate. Squad size reduction is quite an important one. It came with the main file. And what this will do is it will reduce the amount of fighters that will appear on screen at any one time. You'll have multiple squads of fighters and you'll have loads of capital ships. I ended up in a game with about 150 different squads of fighters. Each squad had six fighters and the computer was trying to render all of those at the same time. It made the game a nightmare to play and in the end it crashed. So if you're planning on playing any large games it's not exactly ideal. Also if you plan on playing this mod online against any opponents or your friends you will need to make sure you have the same add-on files that they do in order to play otherwise you will conflict with them. Okay, so we also have to change this uh, value to the amount of mods we have. We have four here selected, so we'll change that to four. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and save. Okay, so now we can actually go ahead and test the mod with those add-ons activated. So if your mod is activated successfully, you'll notice a change in the background. You'll notice a change in the menu. If we go on single player, just never mind, nice save games there, go on new game. Let's just pick, uh, so you've got Mandalorian Invasion, Taurus Defense, a lot of different maps. Let's just pick one for the sake of it. You see all the different factions, the Vong, the Republic, the New Republic, the CIS, the Alliance and the Empire of course. All the uh, custom symbols as well, it's an absolutely fantastic mod. I hope you've all enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you find it informative. There will be a uh, gameplay of this mod coming soon. In fact, I might make it a, uh, a Let's Play series and play through a whole uh, match. So uh, yeah, have a good one, ladies and gentlemen.